going on guys? Back again with another video. Um, this one might be a really short one, but um, I've been getting some throttle body actuator errors. So I'm not really sure if it's the wiring or the actual throttle body, but it only happens intermittently. And when you turn off the car and turn it back on again, it uh, fixes itself for you know for some time and then it comes back again so leads me to believe that the module inside it has uh, um, you know, gone faulty so I've actually got another solar body from the wreckers um, I reckon it's a good uh, good condition one it's working and um, I just cleaned it up a bit put a new gasket on it like so um, that gasket I got from uh, from one of the um, thermostat jobs I did a while back, I had some spare gasket. Um, so I just cut out, cut it up to suit. Like that. Right. So just to give it a bit of a seal. Um, but yeah, so it should be a straightforward job. Uh, it should be just hose comes off, hose comes off. Um, get all that out of the way so you can get access to one, two, three and four bolts and uh, two bolts underneath two bolts at the top and then you gotta un untangle this from the throttle body and it's just a direct replacement so hoping it fixes it if it does great if it doesn't then you know i'll um figure out what's going on with the wire so let's get to it Alrighty, so throttle body looks like it's uh just comes off like that the wires, I mean the, the, the drive-by cable wire just comes off, so that's loose, hose is loose, that giant vacuum hose is loose, um, that reads pressure from the turbo, uh, this is the uh, inlet hose, that goes to the throttle body, and that drives the, uh, the throttle plate, so it lets air in, okay, and um, there's a plug underneath but I'll um I'll unplug it once I lo uh, loosen it so I'll do top two first and uh yeah get to the bottom ones righty so here's the uh looks like it's pretty good nick as well that's the old one okay I don't know the hose there and that's the uh the one from the wreckers which I'm going to replace it actually looks like it's in pretty good nick but I did Cleaned the throttle body not long ago. And there's a paper gasket here which I can probably reuse, but um, I've made my own. So, yep. Send this one in, and um, yeah, so you can see the four uh, four bolts in there. I think they're H fours or something like that. So, small extension. Whack it in, job done. So, um, before you install it, whack this one in because that's a bit of a bastard to get to. Okay, and just line it up and probably get that one in first. So, I'll do that now and come back. Four bolts are in, don't tighten it too hard. I'm going to whack this in next. Uh, plug the, I'll do the throttle body plug now. Let's make sure that's plugged in yep, that's it make sure the throttle body uh, hose is back on then yeah whack that one back on so that's it took all of 10 minutes so with the, the throttle body in place before you start it up just turn it on let the throttle body uh, buzz a bit to try and learn what it needs to. You can definitely hear it buzzing. Buzz. Buzz, buzz, buzz. When it stops buzzing, still buzzing, okay. Alright. Otherwise, uh, the other way, I don't know if this does a complete uh, reset. Uh, other ways to use VCDS, so I'll show you how to do that now. Right, oh, so with VCDS connected to the car, I've got a long cable, you know, connecting it to the middle part of the uh, cigarette lighter, 
just above it. Uh, get a engine. Uh, and I think you've got to go to measuring block. It's uh, 098 for drive by cable. Drive by cable. Uh, 060 if you're drive by wire. Okay. Switch to basic settings. We'll trigger the buzz again. And this time you can hear some tapping. This actually fully um, checks to see if the solid body is working okay. Um, and then it comes back with okay. Okay, now once, um, once that's done, you should be able to fire up the car and let it idle. Alright, so... Take that bad boy in. Fire it up. And let it learn. So it's a bit shaky on startup. Okay. It's not shaky anymore. It's learned its values. And um, yeah, it's smoothed, and smoothed out. So um, the initial uh, alignment is done. And when you, when you turn it back on, the ECU just starts to talk to the throttle body and uh, you know, it's now idling okay. So yeah, every now and then if you get some idling issues, you can perform the same, um, I guess, adaptation. It's not necessary, you just probably you know turn the key on, let it buzz for a bit, and it uh, it, it kind of half does it. it. Doesn't do the full click and turn and checks for throttle body errors, but it certainly uh, runs the adaptation. So I'm gonna leave the video here. Um, thanks a lot for watching, and um, yeah, if you like the video, subscribe, and I'll see you with the the uh, next video. Cheers.